Hello, friend, and thanks for joining me. I'm Reverend Anna, and I'm the Senior Minister of Unity of Austin. And I want to share some thoughts with you about the idea that our God is love. I'll start with this scripture from 1 Corinthians 13, verses 1 through 3, and this is famously known as the love chapter. And it was written by the Apostle Paul to the members of the church in Corinth, Greece. And this was a church that he had founded, and he was writing them this, this letter starts this way in 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but don't have love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but don't have love, I'm nothing. If I give away all my possessions, and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. What a different perspective the Apostle Paul had. In this letter to the members of the church in Corinth, Greece, he laid it out. He wrote that it didn't matter how sophisticated they were, how much they achieved intellectually and spiritually, how much good they did, or even whether they literally became martyrs. He avowed that none of that amounted to a hill of beans. That must have been quite a jolt to the citizens of a locale that had valued all of those things for centuries. What really mattered, he maintained, was whether or not you got it, that you're one in spirit with everybody else. That's what he meant by love. Love's a spiritual power. It has nothing to do with whether or not you like somebody or whether you agree with them or whether you approve of them. Love is simply the truth that you are of the very same life as them. Knowing that changes everything. The more we realize that, the less interested we become in superficial opinions about others. Instead, we get really interested in how we can respectfully support our spiritual siblings in shining their light. We even stop thinking that we should try to rescue them or give them, quote, good advice. We see the light in them and validate it, affirm it in prayer, and support it through positive interest in them. We have lots of compassion, meaning respectful kind-heartedness. We respect them enough not to try to do for them what's theirs to do and to do for them what only we can do. We see the divine in them, knowing that it guides and protects them. And finally, we hold that same understanding for ourselves. We too are expressions of God. We too get to feel the sweet oneness with good, with fulfillment, with joy that is ours. God is love. We are love. And we live in a world of love. Now that is an uplifting perspective. Thank you, Apostle Paul, for your great insight. God bless you and thanks for joining me. And may the love and the light of the Christ shine so brightly in you. God bless.